Bitrix has finally made a response to their identity verification delay problems. I received an email last night from them and I just want to tell you guys what they have to say. Bitrix wrote, over the past couple of months, Bitrix has been in the process of improving its identity verification pro procedures. There are a number of reasons to improve our processes, including that Im improved identity procedures help protect Bitrix users from theft and fraud and prevent abuse of the Bitrix platform. In addition, Bitrix must comply with the Bank Secrecy Act, U.S. economic sanctions laws, and other legal and regulatory requirements. Bitrix takes these compliance obligations seriously. We are committed to making sure our services are not used to launder money, support terrorism, commit fraud, or other illegal activities. We understand that our verification process can be frustrating or a hassle. We have heard your complaints and are working promptly to address each individual support ticket in our system. But we cannot do this without the help of our customers. We have provided below a list of common mistakes or issues that arise during our improved identity verification process that tends to increase the delay in completing the process successfully. These include creating multiple accounts associated with a single individual or entity, name mismatch, unreadable IDs, non-Latin characters on government IDs, opening multiple support tickets. So Bitrix is responding. It's just very slow because everything is a manual process it sounds like. The main problems they're seeing are the ones listed here. So they're just trying to comply with all the laws and get everything up to snuff so they can make it in the future. This is a very legit move on their part because they need to comply with all laws in order to stay legit and stay open. So my advice to anyone that still has an unverified account is just be patient. They are working through it. It sounds like they are swamped. They should probably hire some more people. But they are working through the support tickets. And make sure you read through these different reasons for having verification problems. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. Check it out. If you had one of these problems, that's your verification problem right there. They're naming out the most common. And more likely than not, you probably fall in one of these five categories here. So that's it, guys. Again, I'll leave the link to this article in the description below. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay living that crypto money life.